All right, in this video, I'm going to cover how to set up your computer to do lining up uh, film scoring, picture queuing, and DP. Go to the audio MIDI setup. If you're, if you're not showing the MIDI studio window, you have to go to a window and choose it. Okay. My setup includes the MIDI Express XT, which we have in the studio. I, it's because I have the drivers and I connected my computer with the USB to that and it popped up here. Um, and then we need to add the Qline 1M1 device. So I clicked on add device to make a generic device. Double click on the generic device. Choose the brand which is Qline. And the model is their only model, Pro Q 1M1. Make sure Channels 1 through 16 are set to receive. Apply. Close the window. Then from the MIDI interface, port 1 out. Connect to the input. And that's set. You can quit that. In Digital Performer, I like to work uh, in a window layout that shows markers, and it shows an event list of the conductor track and has event information somewhere. You should be in the conductor track mode. Here's the proper click settings. This is set to MIDI output. I choose no accent. Pro Q1M1, channel number 16, and pitch C3 for both of these. And you should use the following preferences. Click on the film scoring events uh, header. Check all four of these so that it's actually generating film scoring events. And then here's some defaults for when you make new markers. We're going to set so that they, they have a new streamer and that they're locked. The output, we're going to choose the Qline 1M1, which we just installed in the audio MIDI setup. And we're going to choose QuickTime Movie Overlay. In case you're working with a QuickTime Movie when you set up a queue, you might want to be able to see it right there on your laptop also. Don't worry about these. It doesn't matter what any of this stuff in the bottom corner here says. Default marker streamer, let's say white, two seconds, which is the equivalent to our standard three-foot streamer. White, medium. Same settings here. White, two seconds. White, medium. For default punch event, Choose white and medium, same as these two here. Default flutter event. Yeah, I think a good standard setup is a five punch flutter anchored in the middle on the third punch. And I don't know why you'd ever use anything other than white and medium, but there we go. Take a look at that. That's your uh, preferences. Now you can see that um, when you make a new marker, I'll make one here at measure three, uh, comes up default with a streamer and locked, and ready to go. And actually, if we look at set marker streamer options, we can see that the outputs selected are that QuickTime movie in that queue line box, which is, that's what's really important. And here's the default settings we chose in preferences. So that all works just fine and dandy. If you need to move a marker, you can just click on it and drag it, so that's kind of handy. Standalone streamers are made in the event list. Let's make one at measure four. No, let's, yeah, measure, how about measure six 
And these can be edited right here. You could actually change the color of it to being a yellow one. It shows the outputs what they are. You notice that uh, standalone streamers aren't really attached, locked to time. They're locked to a measure number. And if you change tempos, they stay at the right measure number but go to the wrong time. They're good for things like warning streamers, yellow warning streamers, and things like that. Um, they also can be dragged around from measure to measure if you need to edit them that way or copy and paste it or whatever. They can be edited over in the event information window. Another thing you can make in the event list of the conductor track are click changes. You can make a tacit click. Or I can make a quarter note click. A flutter can be useful. If you want to have all of these kinds of events handy at your fingertips, I recommend project clippings, new project clipping window. Let's call this one streamers. And take some of these things, for example, you can take that yellow streamer and throw a copy of it up in there. You can option click on it and name it. Um, the tacit click. The quarter note click. The flutter. Now those things are available anywhere else in your project with a click and a drag. 